So right now you're a, you're you're a dad and you're homeschooling. So some of your days are away from work, but yeah. on the days where you're working on on your apps, mm. can you kind of take us behind the scenes of what that looks like? What is a day? Yeah, a, oh, I a don't work know what day it looks look like, like now. I mean, for the past year and a half or however long it's been working on too, you know, much of that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, so I work here. This is, this is our cabin, by the way. So we, um, we built this uh, when we realized that we were going to be homeschoolers, whether we wanted to or not. So this is where whoever is off duty um, comes out here. And so this is where I work. So yeah, I come out here in the morning and I would open up Slack. So we have a beta testing group um, on Slack, which is separate from the Discord or the Facebook or the forum group. Um, just to kind of keep all the beta stuff in one place. Okay. And it's kind of like working with a team. I mean, it is working with a team. <laughs> it's just that somehow none of them are paid. Sometimes I feel like I should pay all of them, but <laughs> maybe one day when Livy gets super financially successful. Um, yeah, so I would go through, you know. But they're the... not, wor they're, so they're users who are also um, telling you about what, like, problems they've encountered yeah. or yeah okay. so so the beta is basically a separate version of the app that you can install through test flight which is apple's testing mm -hmm. platform and yeah and you just get the bleeding edge like whatever i've been working on that day i upload it that night and that's what you get and sometimes cool. it works and sometimes it doesn't and i will living in australia it's very interesting because when i'm awake everybody else is asleep it's mm. like it's late for me i should be in bed by now <laughs> and um so the way that works is that I will work all day fixing the things that have been reported on the Slack. Okay. And I might knock off maybe five, maybe 10 things, maybe one thing, depends on how complicated it is. I will upload the next build <laughs> that night. I'll go to bed and then I'll do a day of parenting and then I'll get up the next day. That's my off-duty day and I'll come out here and I'll open it up and I'll have, oh, here are all the things that broke when I tried to fix wow. something else. And I would just iterate on that, basically. It would be, um, it was, yeah, it was kind of torturous at times because it was, it was like bug, bug, bug a mole, you know, you'd fix one thing and yeah. then that would break someone else's workflow. And it's like, okay, now I have to fix those, both of those. It's like balancing plates. Um, but I yeah. I can't even um, imagine. Yeah. It felt a bit like a job for a long time. O often, you know, I'm, I'm so unbelievably lucky that I get to do this. Um, and most of the time it's a jolly romp, but it felt like a job for a while back there. There wasn't much creativity stuff going in. Yeah. Before yeah. All that, that, that sort of QA phase, it was building, you know, building the mini loops and um, all that stuff, which was really fun because it was, uh, I would get into a flow state and I would just, you know, I would wow. be jacked in <laughs> and that was fun. But yeah. Um, well, and are you just looking, so I'm, I, don't know anything about programming, coding. I know nothing. Like, I can't <laughs> think of someone, I don't think there's anyone more ignorant than me about this. So I do magic. What are you, yeah, what are, <laughs> are you staring at a bunch of letters and, and numbers? Yeah, yeah, and then pretty much. So how, how do you know what to change? Lots of detective work. It's all detective work. So... Okay. Yeah, so, you know, maybe some will, I spent so much time working on clicks. Clicks. On in what? All different places. Clicks, like little little pops and, and sounds in loops because oh. the way that, you know, for example, with um, if you've got intro and outro turned on, Loopy will record a little bit before the loop starts. It'll record the loop and then it'll record a little bit after it finishes. And with audio, you can't just slap two bits together, um, you know, with a loop. You can't just play and then, then go back to the beginning and play again. You've got everything has to be beautifully cross-faded and you have to add microfades and you can't just, because otherwise if you have some audio and then you just stop or you move to somewhere else, you get a click because you've got, right. you, know, you have a waveform and it might be like that and then it ends up there and then you drop to and silence and you get this, you get this hard discontinuity. So everything has to be beautifully smooth and that's, that can be quite difficult to do well. So for example, you know, someone will say when I 
have tail recording on, um, I get a click when the tail kicks in. And so mm. I will sit there. Maybe what I will do is I'll record it myself and then I'll look at the recording in a, a waveform editor so I can see like where mm. is it happening. And then I'll, I might add some stuff in the code that generates the audio that outputs like what it's doing into a log. And I'll look at the log and I'll compare that with the audio file. And I'll say, okay, it was at that point where it, so it, you know, maybe I was reading the wrong bit of the outro audio or something. No, it's, it gets wow. very, very technical and detailed. And um, wow, I spent way too long working on that stuff. But it's beautiful in Loopy Pro 2. It's so smooth now. Unless it's it crazy. Be. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah. So it will be it's that kind of sleuthing. So I'll have my big Xcode editor. A Xcode is the um, like the main tool for working on macOS okay. and iOS. So you get a window full of code. And um, yeah, and I'll sit there and I'll have, you know, my iPad beside me. Um, although at the moment, all of my testing is done with the Mac version of Loopy Pro, which is running and works really well. And it's the same code base as the iOS version. In fact, when the Mac OS version launches, it will be called like version 2.1 or something because it's exactly wow. the same code. So, so when so, is it coming out? No, I'm just Yeah, kidding. yeah, tomorrow. Just That's kidding, right. just yep. kidding. Yeah. It might be just be, it might be six months to a year of development time, but it will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably six months to a year. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when it's you done. don't have to give an answer. Yeah. Actually, this was a like, practice. It's pretty close. Practice. It's pretty close. And it's already being used by some quite big musicians like Beardy Man, who's using it to perform. It's part of the Beardy Tron. Amazing. So um, that's Amazing. the VST running in Ableton Live. So, you know. Amazing. It's coming. You can kind of infer from that <laughs> about how close yeah. it is. It's getting there. Yeah. It needs a bit more polish, but yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I work, I work with this. I, I, have, um, I, w I wear this all day long. <laughs> this is a Quest 3. And I use this app called Immersed, which um, gives me virtual screens that come from my Mac. And I have... Um, I have a wireless split keyboard, so I have like one side here and one side here, and I sit on the couch here <laughs> with them. Um, and this is my mouse as well, so. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I use like arrow keys to control the mouse, so I don't have to have a separate mm. mouse. And um, yeah, so I have this big window with all the code, and I just fix stuff Hold all away. day long. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm at this exciting point now where all of that stuff is done. I get to work on new things. So that's kind right. of fun. Yeah. Well, is I mean, there anything you want to share? Kind of. I mean, the new thing is the Mac version, right? So it's actually, yeah. it might in fact be more of the same because it's basically done. I just need to make sure it works well. Yeah. So yeah, I need to do things like finish off the VST support because it can host VSTs. Um, mm -hmm. But I need to, you know, support things like presets. It's mm. quite rudimentary at the moment. And it also works as a VST, so I need to make sure that all works. So there'll be a, probably a little bit more of the same that's been in the last year of my life, which is yeah. <laughs> making it all work. Yeah. 